I'm making this video in response to a comment that I read from a cat named Mr. Pretty Boy China on a video that I made mm, um, about phone discrimination. All right, this is what he said, man. He said, "Yeah, this happens to me all the time. I have a BS in electrical engineering, and had an interview a few weeks ago. I did really good on the interview. They send me a letter that the job is canceled. They hate to see an intelligent brother doing doing well." Everybody talking about that, I'm going to get that job I knew better. All my jobs I had was because a black person helped me. The hiring manager was white, so I knew the chances went, went down. And see, what I'm getting to find out, man, <laughs> and what we're getting to see is about white folks, man, that white folks talk a good game, you know, uh, when it comes to black people. They talk, they talk all this crap about how they want you to go to, I mean, how more black people should be, should be going to school and, and you, know, um, you know, black people need, need to get jobs and all sorts of mess, right? But see, like I said, white folks, man, they, deep down in their hearts, they revel, man, in black dysfunction, man. But when they see black people actually who are qualified for these jobs, man, they're the first ones man, who, who, who are discriminated against you, man. The first ones. Every time, um, well, well I'm speaking of that, man, I got a few interviews coming up, come up this week, you know what I'm saying, wish me luck, you know what I'm saying. But um, um, every time... A person, it's getting to the point, like I said before in my other videos, I get several calls a day, man, for programming jobs. Several. I say between five and ten a day, okay? Um, because, like I said before, my name does not sound like, I don't, I don't have, I don't have one of the, I don't have one of the black sounding names, man. And, and my resume is, is a pretty, it's pretty good, you know, it's, it's very good, you know what I'm saying? And if, and people think because of those facts, man, that I must be white or something, you know what I mean? Um, but what I found out is that every single time a white male or white female answers that phone, you never get the job. I mean, I mean, it's like, man, and to be, t I mean, like I said, and to be told, like I said before, I have a higher chance of being hired by a, by an Indian, and you know how racist they are, or by someone else, or whatever, than than a white person. And, and I'm saying, white folks know what they're doing, man. You know what I'm saying? White folks, you know, I'm going to keep it real, man. Um, the reason why blacks are behind, like I said before, is because of white people. I don't care what y'all say. I don't care what nobody say, man. Yeah, of course, man, we do our part or whatever, man. But they don't want to see you advance, man. It talk, it do nothing, it, it do nothing but talk a bunch of garbage, man, about about how, I mean, acting like they really care about, you know, blacks doing poorly, man. But DJ7, they want you to do poorly. You know, so they don't want to hire you for none of these jobs, man. You know what I'm saying? Every time a white man, it's got to the point, man, where I've, de I've developed anxiety. You know, when um, I get a call back from a white male or, 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 or a white female for a job. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's got to the point because every time they answer the phone, man, it's the same crap that takes place. The same crap. You know, um, there was one job I went for, um, for like, um, the dealt with like, you know, mobile apps as well, you know what I'm saying? And it required it was just, it was just like a regular like it was like it was like entry level you know what I'm saying, and this I knew when the white man answered the phone man it was gonna be a problem I knew it man you know he gave me this test you know what I'm saying which you know, so I did I did very well you know what I'm saying even like knowing what like Big O was and everything Big I mean even know how to explain Big O you know what I'm saying and you know he still didn't hire me you know now this is a job that required no no professional experience man this this is a, it's an entry level job okay um. And it seems to be a case where almost every time a white man answers their phone, every time, you don't get the job. You know what I'm saying? So it's gotten to the point now where I let the, I let the, phone, I let the call go to my answering service, man. And if it's a white person who answers the phone, I only call them back. Because it's like, um, like, cause like, like you know what's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I mean it's just, and it, it, it tripped me out, man, because, you know, like I said, they... They don't want to see you advance at all, I man. They truly, I mean, you know, some white folks, man. You know, they truly are black people's opposition, man. I ain't trying to be for it's the truth, man. You know, and honestly, I wish that there were more businesses for blacks, man. More start, more startups for black people. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, white folks, man, have shown that they will prefer anybody over a nigga. You know what I'm saying? And I mean, it's and, and even my wife has gone through that stuff, man. When the jobs are all they really good, you know what I'm saying? And to, and, and what's so crazy about it was the person said she had the best resume that, that that he ever saw. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, she didn't get the job. That didn't make sense, man. You know what I mean? 
And uh, you know, it just it's just, you know, it, it trips me out, man. You know, it, it trips me out. They it, it talk a good game. White folks talk a good game, but they hope that black people never get the stuff together, man. They they they're scared deep down in their deep down in their hearts, man. Deep down in their bigger their hearts, man. They are afraid of black people getting themselves together. They are afraid of it. You know what I mean? But they say that type of stuff man, so they won't sound like, you know, like the oppressors that they that they've always been. You know, and um I'm I'm like I'm like y'all got to deal with it, man, because you know, the, you know, there's like a movement going on, man, with, with these young cats, man. You know, um, y'all got to deal with this because I mean it's already starting. You know, it's, there's a movement going taking place with the young cats, but they started actually embracing education now, man. And y'all gonna, gonna be more 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 young black blacks and, and young black men, man, in these positions, going for going for job positions, man. You know what I mean? I mean, and things. What are they gonna do then? You know, I mean, the fact, I mean, you know, it's, it's a trip, man, like I said, you know, it's just a trip, the things that, that niggas got to deal with, you know what I mean, I just had to, I just to make this video in response to what that cat, Mr. Pretty Boy China said, because, you know, it's, you know, people, it's just, phone discrimination is real, man, you know, they, they do not want to see you advance, they don't want to see you with those high paying jobs, I mean, they don't want to see you with, with those white collar high paying jobs, they don't want to see you with them, man, you know what I'm saying? So I say about that.